Evening Tubers, King Grimlock back for another Grim Gram and first off as ever, that lovely bit of housekeeping you've come to expect. Um, this is going to be a continuation of the Countdown to AA viewer request session. Um, yeah. Um, link to Mirage 8V and Nick the True Phantasm who have requested the Predacons or Predaking to be specific um, and we're just going to continue on with that we're getting so close to AA now I'm, I'm actually getting fairly jazzed or oh, I'm not because I'm recording this well in advance so. but I'm still jazzed yeah, because I've got some good news about AA today uh, which I can't share with you just yet but you will know by the time you watch this video it's kind of weird actually <laughs> saying it like that yeah Anyway, let's crack on, shall we, with our next uh, Predacon, our penultimate Predacon. If you've been resting, resting, watching the rest of the week, you'll know that we only had two left, and I took one off to start with, so it's going to be Dive Bomb. It's going to be the fabulous Dive Bomb, the Aerial Assault Eagly, and he is actually a Predator, really, which is uh, quite nice. Three out, of two, five, three out of five Predacons are Predators, so I suppose they can be considered Predators. Predacons, Predaking, Predapro, Predapro, there we go, anyway, yes, Dive Bomb, the Hawk, um, and a very nice Hawk he is too, actually, I do like this guy, I do like the detailing on him, I would love this uh, air intake chest and the head and the fact that you can open his mouth and, um, and have him in his little flight mode, um, um, and the fact that the wings are articulated, I mean, that's a fairly impressive feet and we we know why this is like semaphore isn't it um we know why they are articulated because of course he does become predaking and the the backpack that they are on in detail in here the sculpted detail for uh, something there you know just around the back is you know a very worthy effort from Hasbro congratulations on 25 years ago producing this wonderful sculpted detail toy um fantastic little tail with lots of rockets on as well and hidden symbol already heated up because of the get how hot it's getting today um little toesies as well he's a nice hawk mode he's you know he's, he's nothing special he's not not getting any articulation as such other than like that and you know the obvious the wings but you know what do you expect from a hawk you're not going to get legs that you can sort of balance and place in and out and think and he's not going to have arms is he he's got wings um, which are about as articulated as you can get. And um, they just don't go forward or back, which would have been nice. Um, maybe those ones from Crazy Devi do. I uh, hope not. I wonder who's going to pick If you're going to pick them up, let us know and let us get a video up of what they're actually like. It'd be interesting to see um, and how much they cost is another thing entirely. But again, the fantastic colour scheme of the Predacon that orange, the red, the yellow, and the black, and the little bits of gold. Also true on this figure. They, you know, they, they shine. He's a beautiful hawk mode. Look at the sculpt on that head. Look at the detail they've put into there. And continuation of the yellow face as well, just in the eye there. But let's have a look at him in his, uh, before I wander off too randomly onto a tangent, let's have a look at him in his uh, robot mode. Um, decent arms, good use of space storage for him. Um, probably one of the, the better, uh, there we go, one of the better uh, designed arm areas of the Predacons. I think they actually have the, the forearm, bicep, shoulder, fist structure to them which one of the few that actually do and they're all separate parts and they do look quite nice and though they don't have any actual articulation you know as such you can actually get quite a bit out of them um, great head sculpt uh, unfortunately most of it's lost just by being in red paint and there we are there's the head um, I prefer it with it out the way if I'm honest because I just feel that yeah having it there it's just kind of yeah, it just looks like he's trying to spit out his own mouth. It's it's not a good look <laughs> for anybody. <sighs> Lift the tail. Let's get those legs out. Get legs in it. Um, and again, good good articulation there. And probably this guy is the most convincing robot mode out of the Predacons for me. Um, I know he he is just a little bit of an unfolded hawk. But I don't know, it works really well. He looks good. He looks convincing. He has decent articulation in his legs. And while he doesn't have any in his arms, as I said, they look really nice. Fantastic detailing in the gaps. That Again, you are, you know, you only see them when you transform it. And it's not really that much of a detail. But you know what? All this detail, these shoulder pads and these arms, look fantastic. They look lovely. Um, he is back heavy, unfortunately, because of the massive backpack that he does carry, which is uh, Predacons. But 
I imagine that's only partly due to age and the ratcheting and joints starting to give up. So we'll have a look at him in his Predaking limb mode. First off, you have to take off this massive backpack, and that goes separately. That is a separate piece. That's... And surprisingly, actually, I've actually damaged this one, unfortunately. I've managed to uh, bust one of the clips at the back. But surprisingly, you, he doesn't form the part you think. Because his wings fit, form with Predacon's back, you'd expect, of course, that th this would form... Um, the dive bomb would form his torso, um, but not being the leader, he doesn't. Um, he actually forms his right arm, uh, which, or left arm, uh, arm. <laughs> which, yeah, uh, is a nice, nice touch that you can separate the parts and put them off somewhere else. It'd be interesting if they did a Predacon set today, or, you know, based it on a real one, would, would those wings still be there? Would they still have them? And I don't know if they would, to be honest. Um, or they would be attachable some other way. They wouldn't detach from razor claw, uh, from razor claw, from dive bomb, um, just to be the wing element. But there you go. There is his other arm. Um, so we will be back tomorrow for razor claw to finish this off, and then the last part will, of course, be the big pred himself. <laughs>